Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I'm trying to do like updates, shorts, but I still want to get good quality horizontal footage, long videos like we started this channel with, right guys? So listen, earlier today I saw a fucking car uh, just like posted up over there before the, after the place was closed, before the lights came on and everything was off right whenever I was getting home. I just got a really bad feeling. So I just kind of rigged up this light back here. And let me just show you how bright it is. It's so bright, it's very offensive to your eyes. But, um, you know, it's not fixed in all the way. And I've just been slowly throughout the couple years, I've just been like accumulating a bunch of stuff. Let me just show you everything I've accumulated. Now I am gonna do an in-depth uh, video on the on my tool bag i mentioned before i had bought a new tool bag and i just kind of been filling it up with uh, all sorts of specialty tools and you guys as contractors can tell me what i'm missing and what i should add but right here i just have a few spools uh 500 feet each and then about 50 feet on the top of thh thhn wire or th whatever w it doesn't matter it's the same thing and uh you know this little kit right here i bought on amazon for like 35 40 bucks and then this stand guys it was like 70 or 60 bucks and then each one of these spools i got at home depot and those run about 100. why do i always tell you all the price just because it's a habit and i just want to give you guys an idea i think i so many videos i've watched sometimes i've just wondered okay well, how much does that cost how much does that cost and so i just make it a habit of letting you guys know so this light right here guys is dirty uh but it's flawless it operates flawless and uh let me just show you this is it right here guys i initially had bought five right um, but I ended up adding one to the shed outside and these do come in brown or black if you want to get that color if you prefer that now you will see reviews on Amazon about these where people complain that they're not good but they obviously just installed it without any coverage you know like it's gonna seal out so like so water but if, if you just keep it out of the water it's not going to develop any condensation it's just not going to develop anything like, look at this one, guys. Let me zoom in just so you can see. You see, it's there's no there's no malfunction here on these LEDs, and this is because we have a, a really good, probably a five foot eave on this front porch. Now it gets a little bit narrower over here. It's only about almost two feet right there. But if you mount it under an eave like i am you're gonna get great coverage so here i kind of just made a diagram this is the front of the house this is the back of the house now this is where we are right here i'm going to add i'm going to add these two here to the front of the, to the front guys this is just the the feed i was just kind of trying to add it all up in my head roughly and uh, so I'm gonna put all these identical ones at the front because I have a sh some sheds back here with some light and so I don't need uh, such a lamp that has three heads on it and that's where I'm going to put these other two I'm about to show them to you and it's uh, it's these right here it's that one so this is another one it's got a full one in the box and uh, this is just going to be great, guys. This, I'm just really excited about this. You know, it took me a while to just get all of this stuff. And then it's just been sitting in a box. What a better time to just get it, get stuff done. I've been kind of in a groove where I've just been feeling really capable and competent. And I've just been feeling good about knocking things out. Because that's why I bought them. To, that's why I bought the stuff, right? So to, to use it. And so I'm using all this THH in wire and then I have a whole note. This is a hundred feet of uh, liquid type Molly, whatever, Polytuff Hubble. Pretty good stuff. I bought this on eBay guys. I got it for like, I think I paid, 
What did I get this for? Maybe I, I'm not sure guys. I'll have to double check, but I ended up finding another spool for it. I think the first time I paid like $60 and then I ended up paying like close to $80, but I didn't mind paying the extra because I wanted it all to match. So, um, so yeah, I have some more in the, in the, in the house. And what I really wanted to show you guys is, uh, these here, this is not a pizza guys. It's just, that's one of the, the, that's the, one of the knuckles for the Jeep that I didn't, um, hit with the wire wheel. But the other one that I did recently, it looks good. It's, it's fully primed. And I just been, I wanted to wait for it to fully cure for a couple days before I hit it with the black paint or white paint. I don't know what I'm going to use, but if you don't know about these Wago connectors, I haven't used them yet but i just bought so i bought so much stuff and you know this is really all I, all you need to uh to to do this job you just need some shears to cut that some of the tape to uh, not even for the connections you just need this tape to to get the the wire so you can start pulling the wire and get it braided you know just a level for just some of these things if you want if you just want to uh, measure some distance because it's pretty much a ruler and just a screwdriver guys and then uh you know electrician uh pliers so i just have a variation here and i was just kind of just sometimes i get overwhelmed as i don't know how the fuck i'm going to get the project done but if i lay it all out and then i get really high and uh make sure the dogs are okay let me make sure the dogs are cool oh guys check out the check out the driveway i've been getting some gravel um everyone's here bingo where you at bingo there you are bingo my love guys let me just show you real quick while we're uh while we're just talking Just gonna, I'm about to put. I'm about to start digging because we're gonna put a big uh, fence here, guys. Big gate. Check out all this trees I've bought, guys. So far, we have a blue spruce right here. Juniper, not a blue spruce. I don't know why the fuck I keep calling it. It's a juniper blue point. I don't really. Did, I have. I don't know about these guys. I just growing up in my early 20s, I spent so much time camping with my dogs, with my other dogs and other people. And uh I just went all over the place, guys, and, and all over Texas, all all over parks, all over uh Colorado. I did the tour divide a couple times. So I spent a lot of time in in the Canadian forest in the rocky mountains guys and i just love i just genuinely love that alpine environment it's very soothing i like looking at all those coniferous trees uh, anything with pine anything evergreen i just i just really enjoy trees guys i was really big into botany in college and everything and even for some extracurricular credit guys i uh went to uh work alongside the city arborist um and my uh, geology teacher uh, i think it was my geology teacher he ended up giving me um an a for that but anyways i am still thinking about i just updated my resume and i'm still thinking about applying to the city guys i don't have uh i didn't graduate college and uh i'm actually okay with that but i think i might have to end up enrolling but i just want to give you a look at these these are just leland cypress my mind started to wander see i started looking at these trees and then i just started to uh to drift off and guys you know my dad had a pecan tree or an oak tree i'm not sure what he was growing here but it was literally 10 feet here from the house and normally he i wouldn't care but we have like water lines here and then there's a gas line i was just like fuck man this is just way too close i didn't like it so i ended up buying a tree for him that i replaced you know because karma's a bitch at first i was like well that's his karma for chopping down my weed plants a long time ago but i really think that that anyway so i bought this here guys it's an oak schumard i think it's actually a really good deal guys 65 bucks for this big tree here and uh it's supposed to give off 
a really pleasant vibe guys red it's gonna be red anyways this calls for 20 feet placement from the house and um supposed to fucking live for a thousand years guys so i was thinking we we're just gonna plant that tree like right over here i'm gonna try to compromise with my father and keep the exact same location that he wanted but i'm just gonna extend it out you know so also between me and you guys i've been doing a lot of thinking for the past year i've just been racking my mind about how it's going to battle against the city or not or how it's going to manage building a pool here but i've come to the realization that i'm not going to have a pool here guys you see this shed here from there on i'm just going to build a, a bigger structure over that to cover that up and then i'm going to dig all that shit up and then i'm gonna have a indoor pool there a little indoor swimming area and now that i can weld i can weld up some steel walls and then later on i can slowly get some uh lexan uh panels you know it's just clear like thick ass poly glass anyways blah 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 guys that's the plan so it, that's my thinking think your plans always constantly change guys look at the jeep it's still on fucking jack stands but guys everything's coming along everything's coming along so you see i'm gonna put a, a one of the lights here that doesn't have three heads and it's just going to shine that way because the one that i put up there it's going to be able to throw light in three ways so throwing a light here is sufficient i can always accommodate a light here though i don't really want to even though we have all this extra lighting I just don't want to disturb that bedroom there and then the same type of light guys on this corner of the house so that's what i'm doing check out these crazy dogs hey i always just have to be i just have to be careful for bingo because he's like the little man and Sometimes they will like gang up on him and that's when I feel like he starts to feel really insecure. You okay, buddy? But pound for pound, it's a little miniature schnauzer. Fucking, I gotta give him credit. He is a fucking beast. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'm just going to put the, the liquid tight conduit here. And then one of those lights, the three identical ones is gonna go here. It's gonna look good, guys. It's gonna look good. It's coming along. Someone's found a water hole. So I showed you the connectors. I showed you the wire. I showed you the lights. These lights here, I try, I'm gonna to try to utilize. Maybe these end connectors here, guys. Or uh, actually, I think I actually for the, for for these here, I actually think I'll have to use these these heavier diecast aluminum ones because oh, this is aluminum too, guys. It may look like it's plastic, but it's actually aluminum. And um, yeah, I'll just screw this into that, screw this into the wall, and this will be enough space in here for for the wires. And then these guys, um, these I can just. I'll figure it out. These are easy. I already did one here. I'm thinking for those. Initially, I have bought these for cameras, but I'm going to get some other ones for some cameras for the Amcrest cameras. See, I have some, I have a camera here. The ring is, it's not a ring, it's an Amcrest, but it's, it's hooked up. But these, I've already placed a bunch of these around the house. So I'm just waiting to finish running the Ethernet or the cat, cat cables. And then once I get this installed, then I can start covering up this plywood here, guys. I'm not sure what I'm what material I'm going to use. Might be a combination of uh, tile at the very top and then wood at the bottom, or I'll maybe do some sort of uh, thin masonry uh, uh, at the bottom. I'm not sure, guys. We're going to figure it out. Oh, I had a really good idea too, guys, because. I've just been thinking about how I can improve safety. We live on such a busy road here 
and uh, we don't really have a neighborhood so there's really no one else looking out for us but us and like i said i've already avoided a couple i want to say a couple people you know trying to get in and so i was thinking about adding one of these six by sixes here guys knocking off some on of the wall here not much guys because i already did the measurements and I'm knocking off a little bit here in fact i might have to double it might, might maybe do two you know two and two so just knock out a few because you see all this guys i did this when i was a kid i was just stupid i would just be bored with a hammer and just doing this like come on what the fuck was i thinking right so it's my responsibility now to uh improve the property big time and so yeah i was thinking about just doing away with that putting these here cutting them down to where they uh meet meet up here guys you know and, and that's actually going to help support this bit this beam this ridge this it's not it's a there's a couple pieces here you see i forget what you call it it's a manufactured beam but so i want to put one here guys visualize it with me all right two of those six by sixes here to support it two of those six by sixes here to support it right and then i have a door in the in the shed i'm about to show it to you and we're going to place that here and we're just gonna slowly enclose this area and, and uh, brick it up guys to make this to make this place very sound and also uh well bulletproof in a sense but let's go show you the door real quick guys since i'm over here talking about it let me show you the door what you doing grace guys this is the fence it fell down and uh, my dad just braced it uh he said he's gonna he said he's gonna take care of it but he's on vacation right now let me show you the door guys we've had this door in the shed for shit as long as i can remember this fucking shit this door has been in here for 30 years guys you see this door here i already measured it guys it's 79 inches tall and that space between the slab and the bottom of that ridge is 78 inches so we're just gonna slice off uh some off the top guys because uh that way we can keep as much of the window up as, that way we can keep as much of the window elevated you know because if we cut it off at the bottom then uh well hold on let me think yeah, if we cut it off at the bottom, then the window would be, the top would be lower. So if we cut it off at the top, then uh, we can just raise raise it up some. You guys get what I'm saying? So this is a nice old door. You know, somebody could get through there if they wanted, but I could always add some uh, reinforcement in the back. Or I could, you know, actually dish out some money and, and reinforce those glass panels, but... Just reinforcing the porch would be great, guys. You know what? And if I get rid of that, slowly I'm starting to get everything out of the shed so we can so we can clean it up, guys. I I know it looks like a mess, but I can actually tell you where a lot of stuff is, believe it or not. So can my dad. Okay, guys, I need to quit talking to you all. I just wanted to give you guys an update on this stuff here.